I'm going to teach you how to set up your page to use our ticket transfer feature. Now this feature is awesome because it allows your customers to transfer tickets to each other or for you to initiate a transfer on behalf of a customer. And I'm going to show you how to do all the different options available. First, you want to start in your builder, hover over settings and select attendee permissions. That will take you here where you'll see the option to allow attendees to transfer their tickets. When that's toggled to yes, You'll, you'll see a few different settings here. First, you have the option to set an available from and until date range if you want to set a cutoff point to when this feature is allowed. If left blank, then this feature will be allowed indefinitely. You can also, if you want, set a transfer fee to cover the cost of transferring. This is the amount that you keep after the transfer is completed. So you can set a percentage or dollar amount off of the order. And for this example, I'm setting that fee to be $10. Don't forget to save and publish your changes to push this to the live page. Now, once this is done, you have a couple of different ways for this transfer to take place. The first way is to share this link with your customers here. This is the transfer page, and it looks like this. Now to use this, all they have to do is plug in this information, their email address and order number, and who they wanna transfer the ticket to, look up the tickets, and that will initiate the transfer. Both myself as the customer and the person I'm transferring to will get an email that will prompt them to complete the process. Now an alternative way to do it is to enable this option here, which will allow attendees to create an account themselves. If this is enabled, again, don't forget to save and publish, this is what that process looks like. As soon as the customer has completed their order, they're going to see this here, this invitation to set up their account. Now, if this is their very first time coming to this page, they're gonna claim their account to create their login. If they're returning, all they have to do is plug in the login they already created to log in. Once they're in, all they have to do to initiate the transfer is click tickets, pull up the order that they wanna transfer, and click transfer. You can see this is a very similar set of options. All they have to do is select the ticket or tickets that they wanna transfer and enter the information for who they wanna transfer to. Once that's done, they just need to check that they understand it cannot be undone and click transfer. And just like that, the transfer is initiated. Katie, in this example, gets an email to complete the order and it puts the tickets in a pending transferred state. Now the third way that you can complete this is here in the reporting section. You can look up the order information and click transfer to initiate the order on behalf of the purchaser. Now, regardless of how you initiate the transfer, once the transfer is started, it's going to put it in a pending transfer state, and you can keep track of which transfers have been started by filtering by that status. Once the transfer is complete, it will be given this transferred state. Now, this is a great way for you to keep track of your event because it will only allow your registrants to transfer tickets that they've already purchased. So that keeps you from having any difficulties with capacities or refunds or things like that as the system will totally handle it for you.